Hi, I'm Voodoo Republic, a wardrobe stylist, creative director. What I do basically is I make celebrities look like celebrities for a living. I was born and bred in Lagos, Nigeria, the most populated black city in the world. Lagos is a very crazy city. Growing up in Lagos taught me how the world works and it also helped me broaden my fashion skills. I grew up so influenced by Afro beats, especially fellas music and fashion. This really inspired me to become a stylist. I worked closely with Bella Shmoda and he saw I on African culture, also greatly inspired by tradition. He's someone that is willing to go the extreme length in his fashion, irrespective of what anybody says. I made this documentary so I can show you guys how I came about the outfits I styled him with in his latest music video titled Newborn Fella. The song itself was inspired by the late legend Fela Nicola Pakuti, also his ideologies about his music and fashion. I was born a couple of years after the late legend died. I spent my early years trying to understand Fela's music and fashion. The outfits I used in the newborn Fela video shoot were greatly inspired by the legend. I had to go to the shrine a couple of weeks before the shoot, looked up some videos online made calls to people close to the late legend, some agreed to meet up with me and some did not. I was fortunate enough to speak to one of his relatives. He took me to Fela's private wardrobe, also showed me some of his old pieces and I'm so fascinated by how creative Fela's fashion was. A couple of days before the shoots, I got a text from Belash Mother saying he wants his skirt in his music video. So I came up with this crazy idea of mixing Fela's type of fashion with our current Dangbana style, whereby infusing ideologies from two different generations to create a masterpiece. I started by making out sketches on how to infuse the skirt idea into Fela's fashion. It was a little bit tricky at the start, but it came out nicer than I expected. And it's truly an honor to get to draw inspiration from the late legend's legacy. The first outfit I used was made from the typical Ankara fabric. I tried to make the shirt in a way like Fela's, then made the skirt small and comfortable just like the Dangbana style. And when you see, look at the colors also, you see that the color, they have a pattern. They are all connecting to the end work of this outfit. And yeah, I feel this is one of my favorite outfits from the shoot. Second outfit was made by sewing pieces of the Nigerian Ashoki fabric, knitting them piece by piece until the fabric was enough to make an entire outfit. This was complex but ended up being so beautiful. The third outfit, a very colorful fabric and picked by Belash Mother himself. You can see it at the beginning of the video and how it blends so smooth with the girls on African attires. I like this outfit so much because I'm always careful when using the color yellow. But this fabric was almost like it was sent from heaven. By the way, it was color pattern. I want to give big kudos to TJ Murray for the amazing video. He came up with the whole Afrocentric idea for the visual. Also, a big shout out to my friend and client, Bella Ashmoda, for his constant trust in the brand. So yeah, that's how I came about all the outfits I used in the newborn fella video. Drop a comment to let me know which of the outfits is your favorite. Also, let me know what artists you want to see me style next. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you.